women are victims of violence all the time. Should have guns. And they could, well, maybe that may, or make better decisions. She is leaving her home at 1 a.m. in the morning, and and nobody forced her to drink. If it's a legitimate rape, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. To help Joe Biden's anti-sexual assault organization, It's On Us, combat the prevalence of victim blaming, we applied the logic of victim blaming to everyday situations. We produced three online PSAs to clearly demonstrate just how absurd that kind of logic really is. Wow, that is a beautiful cake. Thank you. It was actually my idea to match the icing with the piping on the groom's pants. Mm. Mm. My cake! Shh. Excuse me? No touching the art, please. Oh my god, you are so funny. <laughs> I come in here with a biological urge that I can't be expected to control. You've got everything just out on display, super proud to show off what you got. We know you have to say no for appearance's sake, but you really mean yes. You knew what you were doing. You were the one that made it so tempting. The campaign spread virally, gaining millions of impressions around the world. It was covered in major media from the US, Europe, Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and Australia. Numerous colleges incorporated the campaign into their mandatory sexual conduct training programs. And when the Me Too movement started to gain steam, the illogical campaign was embraced by movement leaders across many industries, including Rose McGowan, Amber Rose, Cindy Gallup, Alanis Morissette, and Kara Swisher, among others, proving that the conversation around victim blaming is an essential component in the revolution against sexual assault and proving beyond any doubt that the logic of victim blaming is quite simply illogical.